I use a lot of stock footages in my videos, which I use to tell my story and also to add a lot of bureaus to my videos to make the videos more interesting and to reduce drop-offs. A lot of you guys have been asking where I get my stock videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you the three websites I actually got my stock footage from. And I also make sure two of the other available options that I don't use often. Here are the top five websites you can get your stock videos from. At number one, which is my go-to, we have pexels.com. All you have to do is type pexels.com on your browser and it will take you to the website. When you click on videos, you will see a lot of videos you can download and start using in your project. These videos are created by various users on their platform. What many people want to know is if you will get any copyright claim when you use videos from this website on YouTube. Well, the answer is no. It is stated on their license page that all of their videos and photos are free to use. Attribution is not required, although it's a good thing you give credit to the author of the videos but it's not required and it's not necessary. For videos, I don't give any attribution since it's not required. You also have the right to edit the videos how you deem fit. If you're using the stock videos on YouTube, you are free to download any video on the website and start using it. This is the website I got most of my stock videos from and I've never run into any issues. Let me quickly show you how I use this website. So let's say I'm working on a video where I'm talking about video editing. I'll just head over to the search bar and type in video editing. And you'll find a lot of videos you can use. When you're over on a video, it will automatically play the video so you can preview it. When you find a video you prefer, you can click on download to download it. Or you can just click on the video for you to be able to choose a specific resolution you want. Most of the videos are available in HD and you can also get 4K videos as well. But I prefer downloading the HD variant. What I like about the website is that the video files are not large. So you don't need to worry about your data. There are tons of videos available on the platform both in landscape format and portrait format in case you you are looking for footage you can use to create TikTok and Instagram reels. Also, there are a lot of stock videos and photos on the website completely free to use. Although the videos available are not as wide as the other websites available on the list. Coming at number two is Pixabay. I mostly use this website to get photos for my website. I also use it to get stock footage if the videos I'm looking for are not on Pixels. What I specifically download from Pixabay are things like green screen videos. For example, there are tons of subscribe button video templates you can get from this website. When on the website, go to the search bar and then select videos. If you want to download a subscribe button, for example, type subscribe button and then hit enter. You will be able to find a lot of subscribe buttons in green screen format that you can use in your videos to prompt people to subscribe to your channel. I'll go with this one. Now you can click on download and then select the resolution you want. You will be able to find videos up to 4K resolution. I'll just go with the highest resolution I can find here which is 2K. Then hit download. The subscribe button you downloaded will also come with the necessary sound effects you need. Speaking of the subscribe button, if you find this video helpful, please smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. You can also download a lot of stock videos from the website as well, but I specifically use it to get green screen content to add to my project. Like Pezzers, all the videos available on this site are completely free to use and you don't need to give any attribution of any kind. Number 3 which is the second I use when I can't find the video I need on Pezzers is VDayZ. I'll place a link to the website in the description below but unlike Pezzers and Pixabay, this website is not entirely free. They are both paid and royalty free videos as well. For the paid videos, you will see this pro watermark on it. When using this website, you need to be very careful because all free stock videos are different. There are footage on the website that you can use without giving credit and there are some where you'll be required to give credit to the author or to the website. What I mean by credit is that if you are using this footage on YouTube for example, you will have to attribute the author in your description or you can place it on the video. You can use the search bar to search for the content you are looking for. To download any video, you just have to click on the video and then click on free download to download the video. You can check the license info here 
to know if you are required to give credit or not. This website also has the option to filter the search to your likings depending on the kind of video you want. Before downloading any video, I make sure that the video I'm downloading does not require attribution. At number 4, we have VDevil. I'll paste the link to the website in the description below. This website comprises both paid and free video clips. If you are more concerned about the free tools, you should go to the search bar and type in the clip you are searching for. Then click on filter. Check only free clips. And under license type, make sure you check royalty free. And if you don't care about attribution, that is, if you want videos that require attribution to be included in the search, you can also check VDevil attribution. But if I were you, I would just check only royalty free license. When you find a video you like, you just have to click on it and then click free download to download the video. The royalty free video simply means the owner still claims the right to the video but they are allowing you to use the video in your project without attribution but you cannot republish the video as yours on another website. The only reason I don't use it as much is that the download size is very large and you can only download the original video. For example, this video clip is in 4K. You cannot download it in 2K or 1080p resolution. I have only used their clips in only two of my videos. The file size is high due to the high quality but it consumes my data a lot. The last on the list is Story Block. This one is not a free tool, it's completely Paid. I just felt it's worth mentioning. So because it's a paid tool, you are getting value for your money. This has a lot of the stock videos you want, but that is if you want to be using every stock footage in your videos. You can use the filter option to filter the kind of videos you want. And what I specifically like is the category down here, where you can select the category of video you want. For example, if you want a green screen video, you can select the option so that you can later add your image or video to the clip. For example, you might want to add a video or image to the screen in this video clip. So if block is not made for only video clips alone, you have access to premium Adobe templates and after effects templates and there are also free music and sound effects you can use for your project. So when next you are creating your videos, you should also show your face throughout the entire video. You should add a bit of stock footage here and there to explain whatever you are saying or demonstrating in the video, especially now that you know where to get all of this stock footage from. In my next video, I will list out some of the top websites that I get free music and sound effects. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I also have a ton of other videos for content creators that is worth your time. So you can check out my channel for more videos like this. My name is Victor Smith and I will see you all in the next video.